Hello everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome to part 13 of Crystal. The unluckiest part of all, you know why? Because we're going up against Whitney in this part! Yep. For any of you guys who played this game before, you share the pain that every person who played this game also shares with you. It is like a giant network of pain. It's like the story of Avatar! Okay, but anyway, going on, uh, this gym is laid out like a giant Clefairy if you look at the positioning of all these boxes and flowers and all that. Uh, this gym uses normal type Pokemon. Um, normal type Pokemon only have a weakness to fighting, but they don't aren't super effective on anything. They tend to have a lot of HP. That's about it. Uh, here they have a Schnababall, which is level 18. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go ahead and use Mud Slap. And even though it won't do as much damage as Tackle, I want to lower its accuracy a little. And I didn't do anything. Oh well. Um, Fanpy right here. Uh, main reason why I taught Fanpy Mud Slap. Uh, you are going to be seeing that in this gym because Fanpy is going to be like our star player in this gym. And wow, I really need to switch out to something stronger because I really can't do that much damage to this. Um, yes, there is my Growlithe's nickname. There you go. Hopefully some of you found that funny. But yes, if you saw the episode where I got Growlithe, you know why I named it that. Last carry was defeated. Darn, I thought you were awake. I have such a southern name. I'm Last Carry. Last Carry. Just like Ask Gary if you're in Florida. Uh, I really should not have gone down there, because I guess I just didn't see that trainer. You blended in real well with the bushes! What? Otaru is evolving! Yes, during that battle, I guess it was just enough to make our Totodile evolve. And that is going to make it a Croconaw. Something I really like about this is that Totodile evolves last out of all the starters, but Croconaw evolves first out of the, all the starters. Like, they make it so it takes a long time to get to Croconaw, but doesn't take very long to get to Feraligator. Something they haven't done since. Uh, Cyndaquil evolves first, Quilava evolves last, and then Chikorita and its forms are in the middle. But anyway, we're gonna go back and heal really quick just before we take on the gym leader. Cause we got a hard fight ahead of us. Give it your best shot! Okay! Now for the fight of our lives, Whitney! Hi, I'm Whitney! Everyone's into Pokemon, so I got into it too! Pokemon are super cute! You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good! That she is! Whitney is actually really strong! If you can believe it, despite how newbie she sounds, she is actually pretty good! Starting off here is Clefairy! Clefairy is not that bad of a Pokemon, actually. Its only way that it can damage you is by using Metronome, which is... Basically, it selects on a completely random attack and then uses it. So, this Clefairy really isn't dangerous. It's not hard. It really isn't hard. Um, I'll get into something you can do to make this fight a lot easier in just a moment against this Clefairy. Um, Clefairy is a level weaker in Heart Gold and Soul Silver than it is. Oh, it did Fire Punch. See, look, that's what I mean. More often than not, it's um, more often than not, when it uses a uh, metronome, it won't really do that much damage, or it just won't get very good attacks. Oh, excuse me, I forgot. It does have double slap. But it'll mainly do metronome. It can do double slap. If you have a ghost Pokemon like a Ghastly, its only way it can hurt you is metronome. And it's not luck look likely going to do that. Jeez. I are totally smart. Um, there we go. And now let's go ahead and let's do Bite. Alright. Okay, now, here is where the fight gets tough. This Pokemon has given pretty much every Pokemon fan nightmares. That's Miltank. Miltank is hard. This thing's got great defense, a ton of HP, and what makes it so hard is that it has Rollout. Rollout's not that strong of a move. It only has 30 power. But if you use it twice in a row, it goes up to 60, then 120, then 240, and it just keeps stacking every time. So what you're going to want to do is, Rollout can only get stronger if it hits multiple turns in a row. So you're going to want to either paralyze it, lower its accuracy, or both, or something along those lines. Unfortunately for me, my fan is a male, and this is my, you know, oh no, can't have this. Luckily, Fanpy is also um, 
resistant to rollout, so it hopefully won't take much damage. Being infatuated- Ah, come on, stop! Infatuation is really annoying because it does that. Um, luckily, Fanpy being resistant and being kind of high level is gonna- Jeez, three turns in a row! Infatuation can be healed by switching out. It's basically confusion. It's just a different name and skin for the attack. Come on. Oh, come on, Fanpy! Come on! See, this is why this fight is so hard. And of course. Uh. I was not expecting this. Uh, after five turns, the rollout will reset back to its initial damage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch out to these other Pokemon that I don't intend to use for fighting just so I can get it to go up to those five turns, because I got unlucky there. Every turn, its infatuation kept it from attacking. Alright, let's see here, please let me have a super potion or something, or something that, okay good, I have five super potions, not bad. Go ahead and heal up Fanpy, because Fanpy was apparently too sex driven to be able to attack, okay not sex driven, but still. And it just did stomp, so it broke the rollout combo. Alright, now let's try to not get Wombo comboed this time, Fanpy. If Fanpy can just lower its accuracy a couple of times... Oh, no! I didn't mean to select that. Ah! Not mean to select Tackle. Lower its accuracy. Okay, good. It's doing a rollout again. It started the whole combo over, so it's not doing very much damage. So now, lowering its accuracy, we'll probably be able to avoid a lot of damage. Because once it misses, the rollout combo resets. Uh, the other way you can do this, aside from lowering its accuracy or paralyzing it, is that you can also uh, set up on Clefairy. Raise your stats, use X items, things like that, setting up on Clefairy, because the Clefairy really can't do that much to you. Alright, good. Now it's starting to miss a lot. Uh, let me go ahead and heal really quick, just so I can be sure to lower... Actually, nah, I think Fampy's good. Fampy's already lowered its accuracy four times. We'll just keep lowering its accuracy. She luckily doesn't have any other Pokemon, so she can't switch out. So we're good there. And there goes Fanpy, alright. At least lowered its accuracy five times. So now we're just going to go ahead, and unfortunately, uh, Rory here is going to be weak to rollout, because it's a rock-type move, but we'll see if we can beat it anyway. If we can at least, like, burn it or something. Uh, burning's also a good thing to do in this fight, because burning lowers its attack power by half. So that's a good thing to do. Plus, every bit counts when lowering his HP, because this thing also has Milk Drink, which, believe it or not, this thing actually drinks from its own udders and recovers HP. Half of its HP, to be exact. Uh, so that can be very annoying. Ooh. Okay. Now, okay. It's all up to Crocona. Now, I like Crocona's back sprite, because if you look at it, like, picturing its arm like it's a leg, it looks like a little alligator wearing a diaper. Like, from side view. I just thought that was always funny. Um, let's see what we can do here. Come on. Let's not suck. I said let's not suck. And it's doing milk drink! See? That's what happens. It does milk drink. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut ahead here, after I've done Leer a few times. Okay, I've done Leer a few times and lowered its defense. Unfortunately here, we're getting kind of weak, so we're probably gonna need to heal next turn. But after doing Leer a few times, we're doing quite a bit of damage to it. So just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go ahead and heal really quick. Uh, usually I try not to use items on these runs whenever I'm doing these on recording. But unfortunately this fight is actually really tough, and I think it's actually kind of realistic, to, more realistic to use items in this particular fight. Just because this fight is really, really challenging. And if it doesn't milk drink, of course it milk drinks. Always does. That is how this fight works. She just doesn't want to let you win. She doesn't. And again, I guess it's her duty as a gym leader to be annoying. This is what I like. This is a gym leader that actually really kicks your butt. She's actually like a... <sighs> May you choke on sour milk from your own udder. Critical, come on, critical. I deserve it. Yes, I called it critical. Um, also mentioning this. Uh, that Onyx that I recommended for Faulkner and Bugsy also kind of works well on this because it has very high defense and it is resistant to both Stomp and Milk Drink as well as Double Slap, so it's really good to have in this fight too if you want to have an Onyx. Sob. Wah! You're mean! Hooray for gender... 
stereotypes. Wah, wah. Give me. She's like Lucy. You know, like Lucille Ball. Yeah. She's like, ah, wah. What? What do you want? A badge? Oh, right. I forgot. Here's the plane badge. Yeah. I got pissed off when I played this game the first time. And after all that hell of losing to her like eight times the first time I played this game when I was a kid, that she wouldn't give you the badge. And she gives us TM45. And TM45 contains a tract. I don't really like it very much because it only works on the opposite gender, so it's a very situational move. But anyway, I just realized she's like in the giant head of the she's like in the head of the giant Clefairy, so she's like the brain. Does that mean we're entering and exiting through its butt? Eh, whatever. Anyway, let's go ahead and leave with our new badge in hand after a lot of annoying. And now that that is over, uh, we're going to do a couple more things here in Goldenrod City in the next video, though. But other than that, we're just about done here, right, though? So, next time on Pokemon Crystal, we're going to be finishing up stuff here at Goldenrod City and heading out to the next town. See you guys then.